So even if you are strong, tough, and courageous, you want to be liked by a few people, even if just by yourself. Keep watching to find out how it is being courageous. Keep watching to find out how you can have the courage to be disliked. Hey, this is Kyla Denanyo. Welcome to Kyla's Reading Day. Today we are talking about the book, The Courage to Be Disliked. I saw this book and I was like, that sounds interesting to me. Let's pick it up. There are two authors, Akiro Kashimi and Fumitake Koga. I was not expecting it to be nonfiction because to me, I thought it was an exceptional title for a fiction book. The theme of the book is self-improvement, self-development. So the book is based on a philosopher's writings. So what happened is they took the philosopher's writings and they made it into a question answer story. So the philosopher would say, you need to do this, you need to care less about that. And then the student would ask, but how can I care less about that? That's really impractical for you to say that. And then the philosopher would explain some more. So the layout of the story gave you that back and forth. The questions that the student was asking were questions that similarly you would have asked. Like, I get it, philosopher. How can I apply that to my life? And that aspect of the book, I really, really enjoyed. And an important quote in the book was this. So life's not a competition. That's right. It's enough to just keep moving forward without competing with anyone. And of course, there's no need to compare yourself to other people. So why is that quote important to me? That quote really matters because it's impossible to not compare yourself. And I say that because the big thing now that you hear all the time is, I only compare myself to myself. I'm only competing with the person I was yesterday. Well, that's still comparing. It is enough to just keep moving forward. That's it. And that really resonated with me because I, I like to plan ahead. I like to think ahead. I like to do better, progress, even if I'm just getting 1% better every day, I like to. And I would never call myself a competitive person. I don't think, maybe in Scrabble. And so while I would not call myself a competitive person, I do like to progress. So right now, you know, we're in an epidemic. I'm working from home most of the time. My husband's permanently working from home. We're raising a toddler. We're in a new marriage and it's enough. It's enough to just be moving forward. And that feels so good. And it's such a weight off my shoulders. It's such a weight off my shoulders to know, just move forward. What you're doing is valuable. What you're doing is important. Just move forward. So I really like that piece. If you missed the video, I was laid off in December, 2021. Well, I was fired. <laughs> I was. So it's been really important to me to focus on self-development, focus on self-improvement. I'm reading a lot of nonfiction books, a lot more than I've read in the past, but I'm really enjoying them. I'm really enjoying the introspection, the introspection that comes from reading nonfiction books or self-development books. And this book was really relevant to me. And I'm happy that I'm starting to get into these types of books because they're pretty important. And the conversation that the student was having with the philosopher back and forth made a lot of sense to me. And it really helped me to personalize the philosopher's tales. So lastly here, would I reread this book? Yes. I would reread this book because I listened to it on an audiobook. I would definitely purchase the book and read it, you know, in hardback, write in the margins, scribble things down, because I know that I would get a different take on the book. So yes, I would reread it. So thank you for following along with me today. We were talking about the courage to be disliked. Excellent philosophy self-development book. If you're looking for a book that will make you think a little bit outside the box, make you question some of the things that you do and the motives for a lot of the things that you do, consider picking up this book. So thank you for staying with me this long. Feel free to look through other books that are here in this playlist and I will see you next week on Kyla's Reading Day.